So this month is going to be crazy, guys. This month is the month that I'm going to kick my channel back into shape, something I've needed to do for a long time now with many failed attempts. It's very hard to do that, but I'm going to take my uh, instinctual route, which is just pure pure force. I'm going to force this channel back awake and you guys are going to see how it's going to be a very hectic month. If you enjoy my videos, it's going to be one of the best months that you've ever had on this channel. Uh, lots of things are going to be coming to it. Zombies is going to be one of them, so make sure you're uh, in the loop. Also, if you want to support this channel, visit the Patreon link in the description. But let's get into five things to do at Walmart when you're bored or your parents are shopping. Something that I hate doing is going to Walmart or being forced to go to Walmart with nothing to do. So, first of all, these are going to be life stories that happened to me whenever I was younger because I do believe most of my audience uh, is younger. So, it'll fit. Uh, just know I'm not a 20-year-old man doing some of these things. Although, you'd be surprised. Number one, we have building a fort. Building a fort is one of the most fun things to do in general, whether it's, uh, you know, a blanket fort or you're out in the woods and you get some sticks and leaves and yarn. <laughs> building a fort's amazing. I would suggest building the fort in the paper towel section. Let me tell you a live story about one time that I did this. Me and my cousins, we uh, hopped into Walmart one day. Uh, my aunt, she was shopping and we're like, we're going to make a fort, right? We're going to make a fort, and, and we did it in the paper towel section. We made little chairs inside of the fort out of paper towels. And honestly, I think we ruined a few paper towel rolls. But it was so much fun. Uh, not too much of a life story there. However, we're going to move on to number two. Riding the electric wheelchairs. Now, don't get me wrong. I do know why they're there. You know, they're there to serve people that need wheelchairs. However, if your Walmart's anything like mine, there are a lot of people that don't necessarily need a wheelchair. Uh, they're just a little bit too lazy to walk. But let me tell you about the time I was uh, using the electric wheelchair. This was for a Call of Duty Midnight release. I believe I've touched on this before in another video, probably a zombies video. Um, I was just waiting for the game to come out. And uh, me and my friends, we hopped in an electric wheelchair and we started riding around Walmart. Uh, we made a race. It's so much more fun if you have multiple people. But if you're just yourself, cruising around on wheels is a lot better than walking. So know that uh, our trip uh, to Walmart ended abruptly whenever we wrecked into a shelf and the wheel actually got stuck underneath the shelf. We ditched them and ran far, far away. <laughs> Coming up on number three, I have an entire video dedicated to this live story, so I won't touch on it too much. Healy's in Walmart. So much fun. If you uh, missed that video, if you're a new subscriber, it's literally the first video that comes up whenever you click on my name under subscribe or like my picture. Uh, but riding Healy's through Walmart is much more fun than you would think. Uh, it's tons of flat ground, soft ground, um, or, or hard, <laughs> nice and rolly flat it, it, it's amazing for Healy's lots of obstacles and uh, if you uh, knock over some shelves you'll be told to uh, get out much like I was coming in at number four we have riding bicycles or skateboards in Walmart now this can be a little tricky if your Walmart is jam-packed or the security is uptight you might not be able to get away with this one but if it's later at night there's not as many people out on the floor you might be able to take a bike through the store like i said it's a lot more fun with more people i have an entire life story dedicated to this but honestly uh one of the funniest things i've done was the i think they're called rip sticks or something along those lines um it's uh, a stick that has two wheels and you gotta like pivot your feet back and forth to get going. I completely learned how to ride one of those in Walmart. If you want a dedicated life story, let me know down below because it, it's, whew, there was a lot of errors. I'll tell you that now. And lastly, my favorite one, um, something that you can pretty much do at any age is placing other items in people's buggies or carts or whatever you want to call them. Um, this is something that's, I would say it's a little harmless. I could see how people could get uptight and just 
oh, but people might have to pay for those. I get it. I get it. I wouldn't want to pay for something I didn't put in the buggy. However, a lot of people check out what they have before they put it on the belt. And if, you, if this is your first time seeing it, then you know you've been had. But let me tell you about this lady I did it to. There's this lady. She was probably... Eh, she she was definitely a mother. I'd say she's a your everyday soccer mom, right? So I see her and she's like doing something that a lot of people don't do and it's very easy uh, if you're playing this game is she walks away from her buggy and comes back to it. Like she would leave it on one aisle, go and pick something up on the other aisle and just dump stuff back into her buggy. So I started out small. I started out putting candles in there, like little candles and bigger candles and she did not notice. She was not worried what was inside of her cart and and she's walking around right and I'm like man I've got to get her better than candles so I started putting in snacks like bags of chips some cheese hits and stuff like that and it still was not working it was too common it was too everyday items for someone to you know confuse with what they originally had in there so we go back to the deli section I say we because <laughs> I'm low-key following her <laughs> just because it was so much fun um I get back there and they have these full big like dinner hams like what you're gonna bring to Thanksgiving right and and it's it's enough to feed a family and then some and I go over pick up its frozen carcass not only do I put it in her buggy I put it in the top section of her buggy where like the kids would sit right I so I, I sit it in there and she does not and she's just pushing around finally we get up to the checkout station and the first thing she picks up is that, that ham or turkey. I can't remember right now, but it, it was a meat, right? Puts it on the belt, and she's like, wait a minute. I, I didn't put this in here. And she like, I see her talking to him. I was like, oh, man, she's not going to get that. And and then the woman apparently told, the cashier apparently told her, like, it was a good price. And she bought it. I'm like, what? You bought it? And she's just going through... She's seeing some of the snacks and, like, setting them to the side. She's like, oh, I didn't put this in here. But then the funny thing happens. She gets to the candles, and she's, like, really confused. She's, like, holding three of them in her hands out of the five or six that I put in there. And and she's just smelling them, right? She smelled them. And, and apparently if they smell good, she put them on the belt and bought them. And there's, like, two candles that apparently she did not like. Some vanilla or something. And she just 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 bought it she she just bought some of the crap i put in her buggy it was a very fun day for me so i hope you guys enjoy these videos i'm gonna have uh two other videos coming out today one is more of not really a live story but just a story time with aaron and the third video you guys are all going to be excited for i'm sure is a q a so thank you um to keegan the newest patreon uh person the patriot i I don't know what to call him. Right there his name is on the board. If you guys want to make your name on here, make sure to visit the link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.